During World War II, there were men and women from a nation that fought on every front in the European and North African campaigns that stood shoulder to shoulder with British, American, Canadian, Indian, Australian and New Zealand forces, yet are regularly overlooked in the retelling of that history. That nation was Poland. A nation that was the first to be swallowed by Hitler's armies could so easily have become a silent footnote in the history of World War II, but in fact became one of Hitler's greatest and most persistent foes, driven by absolute hatred of the Germans for what they were doing to Poland and its people and culture and so determined to fight that thousands of them undertook long and hazardous journeys to fight again and again against the Germans. And now a word from our sponsor. Warpath is an epic military strategy simulator downloaded by over 30 million players. Test your courage, tactics and metal against brilliant commanders from around the world. Control thousands of soldiers in an epic struggle for territory. Reenact grand battles in historic cities with realistic terrain and varied architecture. Immerse yourself in battle with realistic sound and gorgeous visuals. Build the ultimate armory with hundreds of classic weapons and vehicles. Forge real-life weapons parts to upgrade your arsenal. In-depth tactical gameplay rewards skill, cunning and strategy. Employ complex tactics and overcome impossible odds with responsive RTS controls. Recover your losses lightning fast and get back into the action. You keep all your resources when you're defeated, so you're never out of the fight. Make the impossible possible in high-intensity sniper missions. Employ creative solutions to take out your targets in the most extreme conditions. Warpath, a critically acclaimed military strategy game, featured on the App Play Store front page 146 times and acclaimed by industry veterans. Rated by over 200,000 iOS players with a score of 4.6 stars. Warpath Ace Shooter. See the link in the description and get it now. By the end of World War II in Europe, the Free Polish Armed Forces in the West numbered just under a quarter of a million men and women, making Poland the fourth largest Allied power in Western Europe, after the United States, Great Britain and the Free French, and just ahead of Canada at place number five. And yet probably the Poles are given the least recognition of all of these nations. The question was, how did so many Poles manage to reach Western Europe to continue the fight? Poland in 1939 being isolated by distance and geography from the French and British. Well, one of the first parts of the Polish armed forces to be saved to fight again were parts of the navy. Realising that the small Polish navy stood little chance trapped by German forces in the narrow Baltic, the Polish government ordered it to sea a few days before the German attack. And on the 1st of September 1939, when Germany crossed the border, the first Polish ships, including two submarines, actually arrived safely at Leith in Scotland. Two days later, Britain and France declared war on Germany, and the handful of Polish vessels found immediate use on patrol activities and later on convoy escort duties. In total, four Polish destroyers and two submarines made it to Britain, to be saved and able to fight again. On the 18th of November 1939, the Anglo-Polish Naval Agreement was signed in London, making the Polish ships operational under the control of the British Admiralty, while continuing to be sovereign Polish vessels flying the Polish flag. In fact, two Polish destroyers would later take part in the Dunkirk evacuation in May to June 1940, and the British leased additional vessels to the Poles throughout World War II to increase the size of the Polish Navy in exile. The Polish had created a government in exile in France following their nation being overrun by the Germans and the Soviets, the Prime Minister being famed General Władysław Sikorski. Sikorski would also serve as Commander-in-Chief of the new Polish Armed Forces. When Poland was overrun by the Germans in 1939, large numbers of Poles, singly or in small groups, managed to evade capture and determined to help free their nation, headed for France via the Baltic states or through Hungary, Romania, Yugoslavia and Italy. 
By November 1939, sufficient Poles had arrived in France to begin building a new Polish army. By the time of the German attack on France in May 1940, 72,000 Poles were formed into a headquarters, a training establishment, two infantry divisions, with two more in the process of formation, and an independent Highland Brigade. The two units were in the process of formation when the Germans attacked. The Polish 3rd and 4th Infantry Divisions were broken up into companies and used to reinforce French units, while the 10th Armoured Cavalry Brigade, equipped with French tanks, was divided into two wings and sent into combat. The Highland Brigade was shipped to Norway to support British and French efforts around the Arctic port of Narvik. From the Battle of France, the 1st Grenadier and 2nd Rifle Divisions suffered heavy casualties, but were eventually pushed across the border into Switzerland, where the survivors were interned. However, some 24,000 Polish soldiers were evacuated to Britain to join the 3,700 members of the Polish Navy that were already there, and soon other men arrived from the Air Force. Indeed, from the Battle of Poland in 1939, 84 Polish aircraft had been evacuated to neutral Romania, where the pilots and the crews managed to escape internment and reach France. By April 1940, 8,678 Polish airmen were in France, and two fighter and one reconnaissance groups were formed using French aircraft. During the fighting, Polish air crews managed to destroy 56 German planes for the loss of 11 pilots killed and 40 aircraft. When France was heading for defeat, General Sikorsky ordered the Polish air force to try to evacuate to England. Over 8,000 Poles managed to get to Britain and were now ready to enlist in the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve. Legally, Britain recognised the Polish Air Force as an independent force, like the Navy and the Army, but administratively it was subordinated to the Royal Air Force, which fully equipped and supplied it throughout the war. By the end of August 1940, during the height of the Battle of Britain, two Polish fighter squadrons, numbers 302 and 303, were fully operational. Overall, Polish pilots shot down 203 German aircraft over Britain during this very important period, accounting for 7.5% of all German planes destroyed during the Battle of Britain for the loss of 29 Polish pilots killed in action. Poles also manned some bomber command squadrons, making sorties against the build-up of German invasion barges along the Channel coast and later during the bombing attacks on Germany itself. In June 1940, the first Polish army units began to be raised in Britain, and by the end of 1940, the Polish Corps had 3,498 officers and almost 11,000 other ranks, making it the largest of the exile armies in Britain. Another source of Polish manpower was in the Middle East. Here, some 5,000 Polish troops had made their way from Poland to French colonies. In April 1940, the French formed them into the independent Polish Carpathian Rifle Brigade, based at Homs near Beirut. Ordered to lay down its arms by the new Vichy French collaborationist regime in the Middle East, the Poles refused and crossed the border into Palestine, coming under British Army command. In October, the 5,000-strong brigade was moved to Egypt to help the British defend Dekela and thence to Tobruk before, in December 1941, taking part in the attack on the Ghazala Line until sent back to Palestine for reorganization and reinforcement by thousands more Poles. The latest influx of Poles came from the Soviet Union because, following the Soviet invasion of eastern Poland in 1939, thousands of Polish troops had been captured by Stalin and sent to POW and labor camps. The Soviet NKVD secret police subsequently conducted a series of large-scale massacres of Polish military officers, intelligentsia, priests and aristocrats at Katyn, murdering almost 22,000 people, events later blamed by Stalin and the Western Allies on the Germans. See my video about this horrific series of massacres, link in the end screen. 
Polish Commander-in-Chief General Sikorsky had visited Moscow in December 1941 and obtained Stalin's permission to allow Poles to leave the USSR and to be transferred into neighboring Persia, now Iran. The group consisted of 69,000 Polish soldiers, plus 3,600 female troops and 4,000 children, and they arrived in British-controlled Iraq in September 1942. Joining with the Polish forces already in the Middle East, the so-called Anders Army, named for its commanding officer, General Władysław Anders, was equipped and trained by the British, becoming the Second Polish Army Corps. In late 1943, this unit was transferred to Italy. 50,000 men forming the 3rd Carpathian Rifle Division, the 5th Kresova Infantry Division and the 2nd Armoured Brigade was attached to the famed Desert Rats, the British 8th Army. And they would go on to win everlasting fame during the Battle of Monte Cassino, the Poles actually capturing the ruined monastery in May 1944 at a cost of 4,199 Polish casualties. The Second Polish Army Corps remained on the Italian front, fighting through that difficult campaign until the final German surrender in May 1945. In the meantime, the Polish Army in Britain had been reorganised, preparatory to the opening of the Second Front in France in June 1944. In February 1942, the first Polish armoured division was established in Scotland under the command of Brigadier General Stanislaw Marczek. It transferred to Normandy in late July 1944, being attached to the 1st Canadian Army. It took part in Operation Totalize in August, suffering heavy losses, but managing to defeat the Germans at the Battle of Mont Hormel and liberating the town of Chambois. The division subsequently lost 446 killed and 150 missing during the two-week Battle of the Falaise Pocket, playing a vital role in preventing the German army from successfully withdrawing from Normandy. The Poles then pursued the Germans along the English Channel coast into the Netherlands, liberating the town of Breda. In the meantime, the 1st Polish Parachute Brigade and the Brigadier General Stanislaw Sosobowski took part in Operation Market Garden, the Allied airborne operation to seize a series of bridges in the Netherlands, in support of the British 1st Airborne Division at Arnhem. The Poles landed in two drops, first by glider and latterly by parachute on the 18th and 21st of September 1944 respectively, and were badly cut up from the heavy and unsuccessful fighting that resulted in the defeat of the British paratroopers at Arnhem and the overall failure of Operation Market Garden. The Polish paratroopers suffered 25% casualties, some 590 men killed or wounded. The 1st Polish Armoured Division continued the advance through the Netherlands and on into Germany, fighting to the end of the war, finishing the war with the capture of the German naval base at Wilhelmshaven in May 1945. Polish scientists and mathematicians were also instrumental in helping to crack the German Enigma Code, working in Britain at Bletchley Park, and the Polish Air Force continued to serve from Britain throughout World War II. What I have outlined are the main actions of the Polish army in the West, an army that was assembled from many parts and made up of men and women who travelled very far to join it, but which, through its gallantry and fighting spirit, contributed hugely to the eventual Allied victory on the Western Front. But unlike the Americans, British, Canadians, Australians and New Zealanders they served alongside, there was no land fit for heroes for the Poles to return to when the war was over. They helped win the war, but the peace that followed was to prove every bit as much of a challenge. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.